Here's the left hand for Beauty of This Man, and it's essentially four chords. I'm going to show you the triads. They're root position triads. I'm going to show you the triads. I'm going to show you how we could play this with inversions, and then I'm going to show you how we can incorporate one of the accompaniment patterns to make a little more interesting left hand. Okay, so we start with A. Here's middle C for point of reference. So play your A chord here. That'll go nicely with the melody. So the progression is A, E, F sharp minor, and then D. My heart is stirred by a noble theme. And it uses those same four chords, the A, or in this case, one, five, six, four, for the whole song. So those are the chords in root position as triads. If we want to incorporate the inversions as we do in our cadence, we could play, here's the A, now to go from A to E, here's our common tone, this is one to five, there's the E chord. Okay, five to six, there's nothing in common, we don't go from five to six in our cadence, so we do play the six chord like this, so going from five to six, you keep the same three fingers, five, three, and one, but just move up like so. And then to go from six to four, or from F sharp minor to D, we'll change this finger out for this finger. There's the four chord, that's D, the four chord in our inversion. Again, finger two in the middle, so it's one. My heart is stirred by a noble theme. Bringing blessed words unto my king. And that's how you do the inversions. Now, on page 56, we've got the, the accompaniment patterns, number three, the broken chord. We can do these chords as broken chords. There's our A. There's our E. There, here's the F sharp minor. And then D. So again, that's A, E, F sharp minor, and then D. But you're asking, those are all root positions. What about my inversions? I know you're asking that. Can you do these with inversions? Absolutely. Here's the A, the E, F sharp minor, and then D. Again, A, E, F sharp minor, D. Okay, so we've got root triads. We have inverted chords. And then we have broken chords. And broken inversions. All kinds of things you can do with your left hand. Okay. Next thing we'll do is put both hands together in a couple of different ways. So stay tuned.